In today's video we are going to take a closer look at Soho projects and all of its features so that by the end of this video you are going to learn how to run your projects using Soho. Now to get started you will have to head over to the Soho projects website basically, I will leave you the link for this down below and then click on sign up now. Now you can basically get started using Soho projects by simply just putting in your business email and password. Now as I want to give you basically the full beginner's experience, I'm just going to set up um, a dummy account essentially. And as you can see right now, everything is set to English, everything is set accordingly. And now you can actually answer some uh, simple questions depending on what you want to use Soho projects for. But I will actually just skip this part and I will directly head over to the Soho projects dashboard. Now, by default, you are going to get a quick little introduction on how this is going to work. But basically, if you're going to watch this video till the end, which I will assume you do, um, you will basically know everything around Soho projects and you can use everything on your own. Now, we are right now on the projects dashboard right here. However, let me just quickly navigate to home. Now, this right here is going to be the home page where you can see all of the different things that uh, is basically currently going on on your projects dashboard. You can also change the view of this by simply just clicking on portfolio right here and this is then this is going to be changed to this portfolio view which I actually think does look nicer. And once you've actually added some projects or tasks, all of that is going to show up right here under the home page. Now let's quickly do that. Let's head over to projects and let's now click on new projects on the top right and let's add a new project title called create website. Then we will have to set the owner of this project. Uh, in my case, this is going to be myself right here. They've added this name because this is my email address. And then you will have to, you can basically select a template if you would want to. However, we've actually, we, we haven't set up templates yet. However, we haven't actually set up templates as of now. Then you can also set a start date as well as an end date. I will just say that the end date is going to be uh, the Friday. And then you can actually also add a description to this so I'm just going to say um, create a website uh, for our um, company and then we can set the task layout we can also set the group name and we can also add tasks to this if you would want to as for customizing the tabs of this project we are going to have a uh, dashboard tests as well as all of these things that are currently ticked however if we would want to we could also add expenses and pages now as for the project access we can either set this to private so that only project users can view this and access this project and also add tasks to it and so on or we can also set this to public so that all of our portal users can view this um, follow this and comment I comment this whereas all of the project users will have complete access now depending on the state of your project you will have to customize this however as of now I will just add this right here and now we have our project created basically now by default we are going to be redirected to the Kanban view of our project so basically right here we can just create simple tasks so I will just add a new task called create website layout then by creating this task right here, we can set text to this. We can also set the due date, start date, work hours, and so on. However, I will just leave this at the default. We can then also add a second task called code the website using a drag and drop um, editor. And then as a description, I'm just going to say, okay, we are going to use the drag and drop editor framer.com for this um uh, for this task right here and and then I'm just I'm just going to click on add essentially and now this also got added onto our task um, task view inside our project view now we can also change the view of our tasks right here on the top right to classic or also to plain if we would want to. However, I personally prefer the Kanban view, so I will just leave this 
right? Uh, so we will just select that right here. And then if we would want to, we could we can also drag these tasks around essentially right here. So if for example this create website layout thing it would be in progress, we can drag this onto the progress section right here. And if we were going to uh, now click on the task, we can see that the status automatically got changed inside this task. Now we can then also see all of the Gantt and reports as well as, as well as all of the documents, milestones, as well as all of, of the timesheets inside our projects. Now this is based, these are basically just all of the different sections which we've actually selected earlier and we can also organize these tabs right here. For example, we can, let's just say that, okay, as for this project, Gantt and reports is unnecessary. So I will just unselect this. However, we actually want to add a finance section so I will just save this and now we for example would actually have a finance section where we can then integrate Soho invoices or Soho books to actually create um, things like invoices and so on. Now if you want me to make an in-depth tutorial about Soho finances let me know and by the way if you have any more questions as always you can leave them in the comments down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Now as for the left right here let's quickly now navigate to feed and now we can basically see a complete overview on what is going on in our projects dashboard. Now this can be really useful if there are multiple users on your uh, on your projects basically and right here you can then just see the logs of everything on every project that has been created on every task that has been created on every task that has been successfully done and so on if we are now going to go to discuss we can basically select uh, add a new conversation so let's just say that we are going to create a new conversation for this create website project the title is going to be what drag and drop editor should we use now once again this is fully fictional i'm just making things up as of now and now we could then uh, add participants to this now as i don't have any team members added to this i can't actually do that but basically this kind of just works uh, as an instant messaging tool now if you're going to go to reports you can then see a full overview of all of the projects that are basically um, you can then see a um, full overview of all of the projects and all of the tasks inside your projects. Now, for example, if we are now if we, if we would go to projects, then to create website, and right here to a dashboard, we can see the overview of this exact project. However, as for reports right here, we're going to see an overview of everything. As for calendar right here, you can see all of your different tasks that you will have to do. This is going to be automatically updated depending on all of your things. And then as for projects right here, once again, you can see an overview of your projects. Now, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And if you have any more questions, as always, make sure to leave them in the comments down below.